Today we're going to go through your house hunting checklist, so let's get started. Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Michelle Babino and I'm with teambabino.com with Future Home Realty right here in Tampa, Florida. If this is your first time joining us, please go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button down below and hitting that notification bell. That way you're notified every time we post a new video. Today, I'm going to share with you a house hunting checklist. Before you go out actually looking at homes, it's very important to know what your needs and your wants are. That way you can check off your list and sometimes those needs and wants change during the process of the house hunting. The top three items on your house hunting checklist should be location, exterior of the house, and interior of the house. Let's start with location. When you're thinking about the location, the first thing you want to think about is your commute. Is your commute to work, grocery stores, restaurants, any of the entertainment venues that you'd like to go to. If you have specific hobbies, golfing, boating, think about the location to all of these things. Another subsection of location would be the actual neighborhood. What schools is it zoned for? The amenities that are offered within the community? Where is the home located within the community? Is it easy access? Is it a main road? Sit down and think about the location where you currently live. What do you like about it and what don't you like about it? Make sure to mark those on your house hunting checklist. So number two would be the exterior of the home. When you're thinking about the exterior of the home, do you want a two story? Do you want a one story? Do you want a long driveway? Do you want trees? Do you want to be on a conservation lot? Would you prefer to be on a pond lot? Do you want to be on open waters? These are all things to think about. Another item that I've come across with past clients is, is there sidewalk? in the neighborhood. Do you want to be on a cul-de-sac? Also for the exterior of the home, pay attention to some details. Does the house need to be painted? Although we are not talking about budget and how much money you have to fix a home or how much money you have towards the purchase price, I do want you to consider when you're looking at the exterior of the home, the age of the roof. You could find this out through the permitting websites for your county. Pay close attention to the paint on the home. Does the home need exterior paint? This can be very costly. If the home home has a pool, make sure that there are no large cracks in the pool. Make sure that it's generally maintained. Make sure you pay attention to the lot size, especially when you're still looking online. A 2,500 square foot home that's two stories is going to take up a lot less space on the lot than a single story 2,500 square foot home. Number three would be the interior of the home. Do you want an open floor plan? How many square feet would you like? Think about the layout of the home. Are you wanting to have a split bedroom floor plan where you have a master on one side and the additional bedrooms on the other side? If it's a two-story home, do you want the laundry located on the second floor or the first floor? Would you like to have the laundry room inside or is the garage okay for you? How many bedrooms do you need? How many bedrooms do you want? How many bathrooms do you need? How many bathrooms do you want? The ceiling height in your older homes uh, in the set that were built maybe in the 70s, you're going to have lower ceiling height. In your homes that were built in the 80s and 90s, you're going to see a lot more of the vaulted ceilings. You're going to see a lot more skylights and the newer homes that you look at you're going to see that the ceiling heights are much higher windows are they old windows are they new windows newer windows are definitely gonna be more energy efficient pay attention to the age of the AC this is something that you could find through permit permitting as well and it's also labeled on the actual unit itself so these, that would be another item that would be very costly if you would have to replace that. I have a link down below in the description to a checklist that you could download for free. Print it out, take it with you when you begin your house hunting. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below about some of the needs and wants that you have in your next home purchase. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week.